This is a 1927 Stutz AA sedan, uh, one of the great American cars made during the 1920s, along with Duesenberg and Cord and Marmon and several other marks that were made in Indiana, a car that really symbolizes the opulence of the 1920s. Uh, this is a great car in and of itself and a wonderful artifact and there's a great story behind Stutz, but that's not the story I want to tell today because there's an even better story about this particular car. Um, in the 1990s, one of our trustees, Lee Alleg, had read a story in the New York Times about an auction in Vermont that was going to be held in a few weeks, auctioning off the property of an eccentric hermit um, who had lived in the hills of, of, of Vermont for, for many, many years. A.K. Miller was an interesting character in his own right. Miller's grandfather was one of the founders of the American Commodities Exchange, and his father was the largest wheat wholesaler on the eastern seaboard. A.K. Miller graduated from Rutgers University. He tried to join the American Air Force during the Second World War, but was deemed too old. So he went to Canada and joined the Canadian Air Force and flew Canadian fighter planes. After the end of the war, he came back to his home, New York, and married his high school sweetheart, and they moved to rural Vermont. And were thought to have never been seen or heard from again. AK fell off a ladder in 1993 at the age of 87 while he was putting up storm windows and died sometime later. His wife passed away shortly thereafter. It turns out that Miller had never had a social security number, had never filed a federal income tax form or a state income tax form, uh, had no will, no heirs, um, there was really not much of a public record of A.K. Miller. So the county came in to settle his estate and uh, what they found was that um, in the wood pile of the wood burning stove that he and his wife used to heat their house was $600,000 in gold bullion. Um, they also found over a million dollars in cash in cigar boxes and coffee cans and uh, between the pages of magazines in various uh, outbuildings and barns and sheds um, spread out over about a mile of dirt road. They found another million dollars in stocks and bonds in the same kind of situation. And there were 52 of these. Not exactly these, there were 36 stats, 52 classic cars in all. They auctioned off the cars for about three and a half million dollars and then all the other property for three and a half million dollars and then in addition to the houses and everything else, the whole thing auctioned brought about ten million dollars, which was quite a fortune for a, a gentleman who was known to dress in trash bags um, when he went down to uh, town once or twice a year to buy fifty pound bags of flour. Um, the car was not in very good shape when we, uh, when we acquired it. It had buried itself um, into the dirt floor of an abandoned shed and we had to have it towed out and then we spent quite a bit of money, quite a bit mo more money than we had uh, spent to purchase the car to get it into its current condition. Um, but this is one of my babies. This is my, one of my prides and joy, a 1927 Stutz AA sedan.